Okay, so here's an example of a question you might see on the quiz tomorrow. So we have this car initially moving horizontally with a speed V. So look, this velocity that's given in the problem, it's an X velocity, isn't it? Because they, they specify that it's horizontal. So that this V is horizontal. Now, by the way, what's the initial Y velocity? As as the car leaves the edge of the cliff, there is no y velocity because the velocity is only in the horizontal, which is an x velocity. So this v right here is understood to be an x velocity, right? Okay. Um, so we're given the height of the cliff as h. The horizontal distance the car travels measured from the base of the cliff is x. And then the question wants us to figure out what happens to this x, what happens to this x if the initial velocity of the car is increased from v to 2v, so the starting velocity is doubled, then the initial velocity of the car is quadrupled from v to 4v. What's going to happen to x? It's obviously going to get bigger. Um, and then C and D, we're, we're messing with the height of the cliff. What if the height of the cliff were to change? How would that affect the horizontal distance traveled? So to answer, th to answer this question, you want to look at the physics equations. So we know for the x direction, for the horizontal direction, there's only one equation, which is x equals vxt, right? And Vx is this V right here, right? So I guess we could just say X equals V times T, again, because this given velocity right there, it's understood to be an X velocity, because it says right here, horizontally, okay? So that, uh, that's, that's our equation for the X direction. Now we're also gonna need a Y equation. So let's look at the Y direction. Um, the, first, the first kinematic on the list of kinematics, it's the one you want to try first. That's the reason it's the first one on the list. It seems to solve the most problems. So the first kinematic written for the y direction is y equals one-half g t squared plus v y initial t. Now what do we say about v y initial? It's zero. So this, this whole part right here just goes away. So the, equa the first kinematic, because there is no y velocity initial, uh, the first kinematic is simply this. But instead of y, are they using the variable y here? Uh-uh. This question's using what? H. So let's just change this to h. h equals 1 half gt squared. And look, sign convention down is negative, up is positive. So H is negative, but then again, but then so is gravity. If gravity is negative and H is negative, what's going to happen to those negatives? They're going to cancel, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now let's take this equation and just rearrange it for T. Time in the air is going to be square root 2H over G. So this is our Y equation. This is our x equation. Okay, so we have everything set up. Any questions so far? Okay, so let's deal with the first two, a and b. Now, a and b, what we're messing with is the, is the initial velocity the car leaves the edge of the cliff with. If you change the x velocity that the car leaves the edge of the cliff with, is that going to change the time in the air? It will not. In fact, last week or the week before, I showed you guys a demonstration where I had this little device. One ball, remember the little demo? One ball got dropped. The other ball simultaneously got launched horizontally. And what we saw in that demonstration is that the two balls hit the ground at the same time. The ball that was dropped and the ball that was launched horizontally hit the ground at the same time. So in this problem, what that would be is like, so imagine there was a backside to this cliff. So here's water over here. 
So imagine you had a guy standing right here and he dropped this rock straight down from rest. And then the car here leaves the edge of the cliff with a horizontal velocity. How would the time in the air compare for the car and this rock? It's the same time, right? Having an X velocity does not give you more time in the air, right? Okay, so what are we messing with what are we messing with for A and B? So look at our, we're, we're trying to figure out what happens to this horizontal displacement from the base of the cliff. So going to our X equation, what got messed with for A? Are we messing with the initial velocity or are we messing with time? We're messing with velocity. Now for question A, what did we do to this velocity? It went from V to 2v. So what did we do to the velocity? We doubled it and time stayed constant. We doubled the initial x velocity and the time stayed the same because it's going to hit the ground and you know it doesn't matter if the car goes off the edge of the cliff going one mile an hour or a hundred miles an hour. It's going to spend the same time in the air if the velocity is only in the x. So what's this going to do to x here? If you double the velocity What's going to happen? X is going to get doubled. So the answer to question A is 2x. Right? X becomes 2x. Okay? Using the same logic for part B, if the initial velocity of the car is increased to 4v, so now what did we do to the velocity? The velocity got quadrupled time stayed the same, so what's going to happen to x? It's going to be quadrupled, so the answer to b is 4x. This x here would become 4x. Okay, so any questions on a or b? Now, c and d, what we're getting at here, let me see how much I can erase. Okay, I want to clean this up. Give me a second here. Let's erase that. So there's that equation. Now, for C and D, what we're messing with here is the height of the cliff, and this velocity stays constant, right? The initial horizontal velocity of the car stays at V. It's not changing. But the height of the cliff is changing. If we change the height of the cliff, is that going to change the time in the air? Yeah. I mean, I think you can all imagine you go to a cliff and you throw a rock off horizontally. Then you go to a higher cliff and you throw a rock off horizontally. If you change the height of the cliff, is that going to change the time in the air? Yeah. By how much? Well, let's take a look. We, we can now answer that. How much will the time change by doubling the height of the cliff? So if you go from H to 2H, which would mean the cliff is now like up here, right? You're doubling the height. What's that going to do to time in the air? Is it going to double the time in the air? No. You can answer it with this equation right here. This equation right here. So what is this equation? This is the equation for time in the air if Vy initial is zero. Remember this used to say plus Vy initial T? Well, what was Vy initial? Zero. zero. So T is going to be square root 2H over G. Now for question C, what did we do to the height of the cliff? The height of the cliff went from H to 2H. So what did we do to this H right here? It got doubled, right? The height of the cliff got doubled. Oh, did we mess with gravity at all? No, gravity's still the same. We didn't mess with gravity. So basically, guys, what happened to inside the square root? What happened inside this square root? It got what? Doubled. So what's going to happen to time? Time gets multiplied by what? Is it by 2? Uh-uh. By what? 
square root of 2, right? Time got multiplied by the square root of 2, which would be like 1.41 times greater. So now go up here. So if, if time gets multiplied by the square root of 2, come up to this equation. What's going to happen to x? Let's look at what happens to x. Did we mess with the velocity of the car? No. But what happens to time? Time got multiplied by the square root of 2. So what's going to happen to x? It's going to be multiplied by the square root of 2. So the answer to c is uh, square root 2 x. That's the answer. Or you could say x root 2. All right. Now, what if the height of the cliff is changed to 4h? So, so now we're going from h to 4h. So what happened to h? What did we do to the height of the cliff? Times it by 4. Gravity stayed the same. So what happened inside this square root here? Inside the square root got multiplied by what? 4. So time gets multiplied by square root of 4, which is the same as multiplying by what? 2. Time got doubled. So take that up here, and let's figure out what happened to x. So again, velocity stayed the same. Velocity stays the same. Time is now multiplied by 2. Quadrupling the height of the cliff will double the time in the air. So if the time got doubled, that means x gets doubled. So the answer to D is 2x. It'll go twice as far.